Alrighty, the system is working. Uh, just have it running at 73 degrees. It's actually working pretty phenomenally. Anyway, um, this is the line set coming from the other side. I put in uh, one, two, three brackets. It's all pitching down. Right outside. I was more concerned about the, uh, of course, drain lines than anything else. We'll go outside. I'll show you how to um, evacuate the system. And uh, okay, here's the manifold gauges. This is your high side, red. Low side, blue. Middle is to uh, evacuate or add freon. And uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to evacuate. So basically, it's hooked up to that port on this type of uh, vacuum pump. And I guess you could hook it up to that port too. Doesn't really matter, just as long as one of them is capped off. Anyway, so this is um, the blue line gets attached to either this one or this one. Doesn't really matter. They're both, even if it's a uh, a four zone, it, this happens to be a dual zone. But even if it's a four zone, it doesn't really matter because they have the same chamber. And you just evacuate it. And right here. It should stay at neg 30. Make sure this valve is all the way open. This could stay closed because it doesn't really matter. And uh, actually, definitely make sure that's closed, the, the high side, nice and tight. Anyway, so the low side all the way open. Make sure it gets down to negative 30. It'll probably take about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Let it sit. What I, did, what I did was I had something to do. So I actually let it sit at negative pressure. And I disconnected everything and uh, went out to eat, came back the next day and you know, I was like, okay, I had to evacuate again. Plugged it back in and it was still at neg 30. So I still ran it for another five or 10 minutes. And uh, I would say that uh, definitely didn't have any leaks. One thing that I did use was I used Nylog, N-Y-L-O-G. There's a great video on it. Make sure you use it to do your connections. and. Uh, there's also another great uh, YouTube video on how to flare copper connections, but uh, flaring you really shouldn't uh, have to do. Just make sure you uh, get the right length of line set. But the Nylog is definitely a must. Alrighty, here's the side of the unit, and here you can tell this is a dual zone because you have a high and low for each uh, zone. Anyway, this is um, where you would evacuate via this port or this port. They had the same chamber, so it doesn't matter which one you uh, open up, but just open up one. Hook up the, uh, the vacuum hose, which would be the um, would be the blue line, because the yellow line from the manifold is running to the pump. So you run the blue line to this, you turn on your evacuation pump, make sure it stays at like negative 30. And uh, you know, that will probably take about a half hour to do. Uh, that will be in the next video and then um, turn off the pump and um, make sure that the uh, the low side on your gauge stays at neg 30 for at least 15 minutes if not longer and that if it does then most likely you have no leaks at all and then uh, if you have to add Freon fine but if you don't um, of course put the cap back on I use Nylog on all these caps you know um, when I was finished uh, this one I had to add a little bit of Freon so what I did was of course, um, left this cap open. This is the cap that I used because I just like doing the higher cap. Anyway, so I opened up these four ports, released all the Freon. I uh, just screw them out. And now that the Freon uh, is released into the system, I uh, had to add about, I don't know, eight or nine ounces. So I, um, what I did was I basically, the line that went to the, uh, the vacuum pump now goes to the Freon and uh, the blue line stays still hooked up to this and then uh, what happens is is because uh, it's on a scale um, you just release and uh, minus off the six ounces eight ounces one pound whatever you might need uh, I release it in really really slowly make sure you do it when the compressor is off I can't stress that enough <laughs> uh, or else it'll uh, blow, your blow the unit and then um, after you finish putting in the Freon, make sure that you uh, disconnect everything and you let the unit set to sit for approximately 15 minutes to a half hour and then you should be all set.
Okay, just one last thing on the uh, the vacuum uh, evacuation process. Make sure that when you evacuate and you touch the machine for the first time, do not open up any of these ports. Open up this port or that port, and that's it when you evacuate. Don't touch these ports at all. Leave them all screwed in. And make sure they're kind of snugged up. And uh, that's basically about it. I just wanted to, wanted to make a uh, side note on that. And, uh, you know, again, just this port or that port. And they all use the same chamber, so it doesn't really matter which line you hook it up to. And that's basically about it. Okay, if you have to add 410A, just make sure that the container is turned upside down.